Hey everyone, welcome back to Terrifier Studios. My name is Ken and we are here with Legend of Zelda. Many years ago, Prince Darkness Ganon stole one of the Triforce with power. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom. She divided it into eight units to hide it from Ganon before she was captured. Go find the eight units, Link, to save her. All right, now that we know the story, let's hop right in. I love this series. This is my co-favorite series of all time. Co being with Mega Man, of course. Now, my last name doesn't fit. Oh, whoops, I did the thing, so now we gotta do it all over again. Hold on. Oh, I did it again. Oh, no. Can I fit Terran? I can. I'm gonna go with Terran. All right, I'm so excited to be back playing Zelda. How's this look? It look good? It look good? Should I raise it a little bit like this and have it like that? And how am I looking? Now I look at, I'm looking at the bottom. That's why I don't like that. Well, if that, that looks okay. That looks fine. Okay, so of course, in this Zelda game, the first thing you do is go down this cave and grab your sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Thank you, sir. That was very nice of you. Now, which button? What is it? That's okay. Okay, good. So, if you haven't played Zelda before, as long as you have full health, you can use a sword beam. Uh, the second you get hit, though, it goes away. Now, I know where the first castle is, but I want to see, before we hop in there, if there are any secrets that I remember to get before we go there. I mean, that would be, that would be most beneficial. Do I have a shield yet? I, I do have a shield, so I think I can block that. Now, I did actually start this playthrough on my channel um, a while ago, but I actually didn't finish it, uh, mainly because I wanted to wait until I got the NT Mini Noir uh, to finish on a physical console. So I started in emulation, but this is, I'm just gonna redo it. I'm gonna leave those on there just in case anyone wants to see how bad my uh, old editing was, but we're gonna redo it now. I won't know any more than I did back then, so this should be, uh, this should be fun. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. I didn't need it, but I wanted it. I wanted the fairy. All right, so let's see. Um, I think I know where the first castle is. I'm gonna go to the first dungeon, just because I wanna act, excuse you. I wanna get that done. I was gonna wait, I know I just said, I just said I was looking for secrets, but I realized I don't have the candle, I don't have bombs, I'm not at the first castle. Oh no, oh no, I lost my way again. I lost my way already. Oh my gosh! Stop it! Okay, I need to find... Is it up here? The first dungeon... Yes, here it is. Okay, so the first dungeon I knew was in water by a bridge. Ow. Ow. I only have one heart. I'm pretty sure you can't get any other hearts, oh gosh, until you get the candle or bombs. So this is the first dungeon. Let's get rid of this guy, this Octorok over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, I was hoping he had a heart. All right, we're already in the first dungeon. I plan on getting at least um, one dungeon done per video. Uh, if we go a little quicker, I'm hoping we also get a weapon in here so we can go looking for secrets before we end the video. All right, let's see. I don't remember anything pretty much about the dungeons or anything else. So this is gonna basically be a blind run. Uh, we got one key. Are there secrets in here? There's probably secrets in here, right? I'll know more when I get the map, I think. I don't wanna go in there because there might be... Let's see what's in here. Ah, another key, see? I knew it. I like to check every room. Um, I... Excuse me. Excuse. Excuse. Thank you. Um, I am compulsive that way. I need to check everything, make sure I get everything. So, now we have two keys because of it, see? See, it all works out. Now, go in the door, Link. Go in the door. Alright. Back up here, we'll go in this key door. Now, I, I do plan on collecting everything in this game. So, if we get to... Dungeon 8, before we go in, if we do Dungeon 8 last, I don't I don't know, I don't know what dungeon order we're gonna go in. Cause I can't really remember where all the dungeons were. But, that being said, excuse yo! Um, ah! Oh gosh. <gasps> Wait, I need that fairy, come here! Okay, good. I will go secret hunting before the last dungeon we do. Uh, can I move any of these? Now, 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 and now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we're still good. Why this music is so low? There we go, now I can hear it. Couldn't hear the music before. Okay, get, oh, get rid of the keys. Get rid of the keys. Okay. Okay. See, now I got my sword beam, which is making this so much easier. All right, so I have another key, but I feel like I missed the spot. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see what's this way. Because I feel like there's a secret here. Ah, see the compass. Now a compass in the original Legend of Zelda um, shows you exactly where the boss is. It doesn't show you the map, but you'll see a blinking dot to show you where the boss is in the dungeon. See, there's the, there's the boss. He's right there. 
Now make our way back. Do 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 do. All right, now we can go in here. Oh, we got the little droplet guys. Oh, I can't attack there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I forgot to mention, like I, I usually do on every Let's Play, I'm playing this on the original cartridge using the analog NT Mini Noir and the 8 bit Do N30 2.4 gigahertz controller. This we can move. Yes. That opens this door. Is this a secret? This must be a secret, right? Let's see. Oh, it's an old man. Ishmos Peninsula is the secret. Okay, thank you. That's very vague. It's very vague. I'm probably gonna forget that. Scrolling two two more screens. It's already forgotten. What? What'd he say? I don't know. Ooh, the map! Okay. Ow. Alright, well, we had the beam. Okay, so now this should tell me... Okay, this is the bird dungeon. Let's go up. I mean, the problem is I don't have a bomb, so I can't look for shortcut uh, secrets anyway. But every dungeon... Ow, please stop it. Every dungeon has a map, a key, uh, a heart after you beat the boss... A piece of the Triforce, and a piece of the Wisdom Triforce, I should say, and ah, a secret, a secret item, whether it be a weapon or ooh, perfect, perfect. You can't hurt me now, ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Ooh, a key. Ooh, we got lots of keys. Um, I think this dungeon was a candle. Or do you buy the candle? I can't remember now. Whoa. Can I move this? One of these you can move. Let's dodge these bad boys and go this way. Nice. Look at this. Look at this progress we're making in the first video. Oh, it's the bow already? I remember you get the bow so fast. Ow. So now the bow does not actually... I mean, it uses arrows, technically. But you don't buy arrows. You buy an arrow. If I remember correctly, you buy an arrow. And then... Oh, boy. After you buy the arrow, you use your rupees to actually use... So every one rupee counts as one arrow. I'm pretty sure that's how it works in this game. Whoops. All right, I can't... Can I, can I do this? It won't let me equip it. So I must need the arrow. So you must equip the bow and arrow together. Okay, so I have to buy arrows. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to use it now. Okay, so that doesn't help us at all, though. In the overworld nonsense. Okay, that's fine. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get two dungeons on today if I can remember where the second dungeon is. Ow! Get at... Oh, no. Don't die. Don't, so if you die in Legend of Zelda... If you're in the old world, bombs! And the boomerangs in here? I don't remember that. All right, I don't want to waste too many bombs looking for secrets. Oh, there's a secret here, though. Oh, that's just a shortcut. I just wasted a bomb. All right, no secrets. Let's get out of here. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot what I was saying again. Oh, it's the hand. Oh, that's what I was saying. Thank you, hands. Um, so the hand drops you right at the beginning of the dungeon. If you die in the old world, you go all the way back to the starting square where you get the sword. <gasps> okay, I really wanted my, uh, my, my sword beam for this guy, but that's fine. That's fine. We could just be good. We could just be good gamers. Oh, you have to hit him in the head. I forgot. Okay. Careful. Okay. Ooh, don't get greedy. This is the easiest of the dragon. Oh, boy. If you die in the dungeon... Oh, no. If you die in the dungeon, can you stop firing? You go to the beginning of the dungeon. Which we'll see right now. Boop, 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 boop. Now, the only time you can actually save the game... Oh, I got full hearts. Nice. The only time you can actually save the game is when you die. So, now I just have to... All the enemies respawn when you die as well. So, you just have to... I just have to make it to the dungeon boss. If I can make it to the dragon without taking damage, uh, he's pretty easy. Because uh, I need the sword beam. I need the sword... Oh, yes. Give me more rupees. I want to farm for rupees. Give me all the rupees. Jeez. Uh, blinking gold rupees are worth one. Blue rupees are worth five. I don't know if there are any more rupee colors in here. Ooh. Mm, keys. Do I want to verse the keys? They don't really give you anything, I don't believe. I don't think they drop anything. And they're kind of erratic, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I just want to get to the boss, please. Please. I'm not going to fight you guys. You can hurt me with your boomerangs. With the boomerangs, I should actually equip the boomerang because I tend to, I tend to, oh gosh, I tend to use my B button a lot by accident, which will cause me to waste bombs. Okay, don't get hit. Do not get hit. You just said this was easy if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you make it to the boss without taking damage. Okay, careful. 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 See, this is nice and, boom, beautiful. 
Five rupees for our trouble and a heart. And each full heart container gets you a new heart. And now we get a piece of the Triforce of Courage. All right, so one dungeon down. Now I have to decide. I have the boomerang, which doesn't help for secrets. I have bombs, though. I do have bombs. Well, that's unfortunate. He hit me. Um, I could go and search for bombing spots. I know actually of one right off the bat. Let's see, because I think, I think there's a heart in it. And oh no, don't die, don't die. I don't want to go all the way back to the beginning. I mean, the beginning is right here. I'll die for rupees. I will die for rupees. Rupees are very important in this game. There's a lot of stuff you have to buy. Yes. Um, and it costs a lot of money. So I think let's let's kill these guys because they give me rupees and a heart. Yes, I can block that. Okay, so your normal shield can block uh, small enemy projectiles, but those... Fi oh, what are the fish guys called? Oh my god, they're in every Zelda game. How am I forgetting this? Oh, this is atrocious. This is atrocious. Um, well, they... Nope, this is the start. Uh, those fish guys, uh, you can't block their magic attacks. Um, excuse me. Where is the bombing spot? I think it's further over. Over here in this little area right here is a warp spot. There are a bunch of warp spots in this game to help you get around easier. But you need the brace, I believe. I think you need one of the bracelets to uh, move that rock. So you can't access it until much later. Um, get out of here, please. Please go away. Please go away. Thank you. Oh! No, what that? Yes! Give me more. Now, your max rupee, I believe, is 99. So once I get 99 rupees, I have to spend them? Is that true? Wait. No, because the meat is 250. That might be false. That might be false. I might be thinking of other Zelda games. Ow, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. There's a bomb spot here, and I want it. Get out of here. Azoras. That's what they are. They're the Zoras. Oh, my goodness. Zoras have a, a finicky past because sometimes they're bad and sometimes they're good. Um, but unlike the Mega Man um, timeline or... I guess, canon in the game. Nintendo kind of went the opposite way. Oh, yeah. Take anyone you want. I'm going to take the heart because the more hearts you get, so the potion will heal you fully once and then it's gone. The heart obviously stays forever, but not only that, but you also get uh, a better sword the more hearts you get. If you find the better sword, you need a certain amount of hearts to use it. Um, Zelda, Nintendo went the ap actually opposite way with Zelda and gave us too much lore too different. And then they tried to explain it with a whole really cool but really confusing alternate timelines and alternate universes basically with Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, starting with Ocarina of Time. Different timelines per game. It's really confusing. It's really cool, really fun. I, I enjoy the timeline, but it is very confusing. So, but I think this is one of the last games. It's this and Legend of Zelda 2. Uh, Link to the past. No, Link to the Past is Super Nintendo. What is this? This is Legend of Zelda, and then there's Legend of Link, I think it is. I think those are the two final games, as far as we know, in the entirety of the series. So I guess the Zora become bad? Oh, I guess the Zora become bad then. Then it's my question. They were good and they became bad? But then wait, Link to the Past, they're bad too, aren't they? I thought so. Maybe not. I have to play that again. That's actually my favorite Zelda game of all time, Link to the Past. I also have a ROM hack that I started playing that I have to get back to. Um, for a Link to the Past, but I think I'm gonna play actual Link to the Past, a Link to the Past, before we play that one. Oh, we got a cave. Let's see what's in here. Now you, mm. you, you spider-looking things. I think I actually do want to get um, two dungeons done today because I think that would be fun, and I'm having a lot of fun here. Uh, but let's go in this cave first. Buy something, will ya? I don't need bombs. I could save up for... I mean, I could use more bombs, absolutely. But I could save up for the arrows, so I could start using my bow. But then I feel like that's going to waste my gems. And you technically don't need the bow and arrow for anything, I'm pretty sure. Because you need the silver arrow at the end of the game, but that's given to you. For free, I'm pretty sure. I think I want to save up for the shield. Now, the, the bigger shield is the magical shield, I believe. Or is it the mirror shield? I think it's a magical shield. Uh, the magical shield... Ooh, another spot. I think this is a teleport spot. The magical shield can block anything, but there are these enemies called like likes that can eat your shield. And if they do, you have to buy another one. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, let's see if we can find the second dungeon, because I'm having a lot of fun. Ow. And I want to I want to try and do at least two dungeons for the first video. Open us up. Give us a little more to see. Like I said, if I end up ooh, doing a lot of the dungeons really quickly, I am going to look for all the secrets. So, secret secrets. 
Problem is, I just have to find the second dungeon. Is it here, or is this the third dungeon? Or is this no dungeon? This might be no dungeon. I remember my first playthrough, I had a really- this is no dungeon. I had a really hard time finding the second and- uh, second or third dungeon. So I know- I remember from that playthrough, uh, that one is over here and one is to the right. And I think I know how to get to both of them. Ooh, let's see what's in here. It's probably a shop. Probably a shop. Excuse me. Excuse- excuse? Thank you. Oh, it's a fairy. I don't need it. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go see what he's selling. A key, ooh, the candle. That is worth buying. I don't know if there's a cheaper place to get it, probably, but now we have the candle, so now we can burn stuff. I love The Legend of Zelda, if you couldn't tell. I love it, I love this, I love this series, I love Mega Man series, I love them both. I wish there was some kind of way that we can cross and do them both. Like, have them both in one game, that would be phenomenal. Capcom and Nintendo, please get on that immediately. This is your overlord speaking. You must do this now. I'm surprised that's actually not a fan game. I haven't heard of it. Anyone know? I know there's... I know there is... Um... Ooh, that's another game I should play for my channel. I know there is a Legend of Zelda slash Metroid fan game out there, which looks really cool. It's A Link to the Past and Super Metroid. And basically, when you go into a door... Say you're in Zelda, and you go into a door, it'll take you to the Super Metroid game. And what's really cool about it is, the items are randomized. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the items are randomized, and they're randomized throughout both games. So you'll, you'll have to find items in Super Metroid to use in Zelda. Like, uh, Zelda's heart pieces may be in Super Metroid, or the Master Sword may be in Super Metroid, or vice versa. I don't- I've never really played Metroid, so I don't know what items are in there. But I would like to play Metroid, so that might be a game I play in the future. In the future. Alright, so let's see. We keep going. Where is this dungeon again? Somebody help me. I'm lost. I'm lost and confused. Ow. Oh, I'm taking so much damage. Thank goodness I got that extra heart, huh? <gasps> rupees. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of rupees now. I thought I remember rupees being hard to come by. Ow. Please stop. Yes, thank you. That clock stops all enemies on the screen. If you if you couldn't tell, it stops all enemies on the screen. It is probably one of the best power-ups ever invented in a Zelda game. This looks like a bombable spot. Why do I keep hitting the wrong button? This looks like a bombable spot. Let's waste a bomb. It was not. I wasted a bomb. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I think I went the wrong way for the... Uh, for the, for the, for the oh my gosh. Now, the, a, a way I think I've heard, it could be a rumor, it could be true, I'm not exactly sure, but a way I've heard to get bombs, ow, is by random chance, but your chance goes up if you don't get hit for a certain amount of time. Uh, buy something, will you? No, I don't want to. I want to find a dungeon, please. Now, this is unfortunate, because I'm just realizing if I die, oh, I'm versing these guys, that's great. If I die, I'm going back to the start. I died. We're going back to the start of the screen. Okay, so when you start over, when you when you die, they only heal three hearts because those are the three hearts you started with. So any more hearts you get, don't get healed. So you no longer start with the beam, which is not a huge problem because there are plenty of fairies that fill up your health fully, and there are fairy fountains uh, to find. But right now, I would love, 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 ow, ow, wah. To find the dungeon. Because I'm looking for the dungeon. I want to be in the dungeon. I want to find... I'll do either the second or the third as long as he can. Some dungeons may require an item. Uh, so if we can't... This spot right here. This wonderful spot. There's an old lady in here who tells you nothing. You get all confused. You're like, why are you here? And then you leave. There's an old man who gives you a piece of paper. And when he gives that to you, you give it to the lady. And she offers you to buy... She lets you buy two potions. One heals you once for, like, think 30. Ow! And one heals you twice for 60, I believe. Sec, here's a dungeon. Okay, here. What dungeon is this? Please, please go away. Okay, you know what? You stay. You, you're you allowed to live. I don't mind. Dungeon 3. Do we want to skip dungeon 2 for now? Sure, why not? Let's try it. What's the worst that's going to happen, right? Worst going to happen, we maybe get an item and then we have to leave. It's fine. Got another key. We got a key. Good key. Now, I believe keys... 
keys, not the not not the bat looking creatures, actual gold keys. Please stop getting hurt. Um, carry over to the next dungeon. If I'm not mistaken, like they 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 don't just stay in this dungeon. So I have to be careful of that. I want to make sure I don't use any keys that I'm not supposed to. Because I don't know if that could mess me up. Ow. Please stop. Um, again, I, see, the problem is with the the um, shortcuts in these dungeons. Ow. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, careful. 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 Um, I'm not going to kill him. <gasps> Wait, was there a key there? There might be. There might have been a key. Oh, my God. We're versing Dark Nuts. Okay. This maybe this wasn't a good idea. Just maybe. All right, I don't remember if they have a key. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm being a dingus. Use this. This kills those in one shot. There we go. Use your weapons. Boom, and it goes through walls. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I don't think there was a key though, because I feel like we would have got it already. Oh, there was a key. Okay, you do have to kill everyone. Okay, good, good. Um, I have five bombs. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to listen to that beeping. Uh, until I get a heart. Hopefully I get... No, okay, no bomb. No bomb, that's fine. Hopefully I get a heart soon. Um, so we don't have to listen to it that long. Okay, I'm gonna die here anyway, so we're okay. Let's just fast forward through them first. I wanna find a heart. <gasps> compass! Awesome! Okay, so... It may not be a heart, but now if we die, we keep the compass. So that's nice. At least we got something. Oh my god, I almost died. I, do I want to go back and verse those dark nuts right now? Not really. Let's go through here. We use the key. What's in here? Oh, it's more dark nuts. Okay, these guys are hard because you can only hit them from the back. And they're dangerous. Especially when there's so many of them. Get out of here. Get, oh, and they take so many hits. Oh, gosh. Oh. Like, I didn't know that was going to happen. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this again. We want to find the map. I'm going to try and kill the first three Dark Nuts. I'm going to skip all these guys because they give me nothing. They give me nothing but ulcers. Um, can I skip these guys too without taking damage? No. Oh, I put myself in a bad spot. Okay. I'm going to have to... Uh, good. Good. Skip them. Skip them. I don't even... I'm going to try and kill these guys just in case they give me something. You could also use bombs, which will kill them much faster, but... <clears throat> I'm gonna use bombs. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna waste my bombs. I'm not gonna waste. Mm, 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 please stop it. Please stop it. Please, please go away. Oh my dear lord! These dark nuts. These dark nuts. Please stop. Please stop. Go away. Oh, thank you. Oh no! I will say this controller is amazing. Ape dude does such great jobs with the controls. I'm not. I, I'm terrible, but this control is good. Okay, we are getting through this dungeon. I don't care if I have to bash, bash, bash my head around. I'm getting it. Um, these don't give me hearts, so there's no point in getting them. Maybe I should leave the- if I die again, I might leave the dungeon. Oh no. I might leave the dungeon just to get more hearts and then come back. Because we should be able to do dungeon 3, no problem. Let's skip them for now. Let's go up here. We didn't go up here yet. There's a key in here. I think there's a secret here. If I remember correctly, and I think I do, I'm pretty sure there's a secret here. And I'm pretty sure you have to kill these guys first. And then, oh, you get a key, but I, isn't there a pushable block here? Maybe not. Maybe not. All right. So now I have four different ways to go. Let's go up. Let's go up. Okay. We got, ow. Rude. Okay. Is the, is the secret in here? Oh, gosh. Now, I'm assuming you have to kill these guys first and then push the block? Oh, that opens the door. It's not much of a secret. What do you do? Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? Okay, wait. Was I supposed to? Oh, this is fun, actually. If you hit him, he attacks you. That's fun. Um, ow! Was I supposed to get it, or is he telling me that there is a sword there? Because I feel like the third dungeon is pretty soon to have the next upgraded sword. Then again, they do introduce dark nuts here, so maybe? Okay, this just opens here. I have a feeling there's a bombable spot. So let, let's equip our beams. New beams. 
No, I just wasted two beams. Let's waste the third. No, th this is pointless. This this whole room is pointless. It just had keys in it. Is there a bombable spot right here? I only have one bomb left. I'm gonna do it this way. It could be this way or up. It's nothing. I wasted all my bombs. That's not good. Okay, let's run. Mm-hmm. And take damage. All right. Well, now we know up is not the right way to go, right? I have two keys. Let's go this way. This way is probably the boss. Oh, we get the map. Yes. Thank you for being a friend. Where did they go? Why did they do that? Okay, so I'm actually heading away. No, I'm heading towards the boss, which is not where I want to go because I didn't find the secret item yet. And I think I remember where the secret item is. So we have the compass. We have the map. All we need is a secret item, and then we can get out of here. The problem is the secret item... Secret item is with all the dog nuts, and I remember this being atrocious. So, let's see if we can get some hearts. Please go away. See if we can get some hearts before we do this. Now, there's a fairy found up, right? If I remember correctly. Ooh. Damn. It doesn't matter. I'm getting a fairy found. I think there's a fairy found up here. It's just getting back without taking damage, and then getting all the way to the dark nuts without taking damage, and then surviving. Yes! Fairy fountain! All right. Um, can I? Is there a burn a bush anywhere, actually? Hold on. Can I burn your bushes? Now, so the blue candle allows you to burn... As I was saying. Allows you to burn one bush. It allows you to use... It's one use per frame. So now I use this, so now I have to go to the next frame in order to use it. There's a red candle that I believe allows you either two or unlimited. I keep missing the bushes. This is atrocious. Is there a bush here? Is there a burn here? While I'm here? No? Okay. This fine. There, there are a bunch of burning bushes. Where are they? I don't remember. We're gonna have to find them. I don't know if there are any. I think they're all. All the burning bushes are green, though. I think. Can I? Oh no! Oh no! Please go away. Okay, good. Good. We want to save all our health. Here we go. Okay, let's go back in. Let's equip our boomerangs. A boom, a boom, a boomerang. All right, we're looking in better shape. We just have to get there without dying. I mean, without taking damage, I should say. Without taking damage. Not dying. We're not going to die by the time we get there. But we may take damage, and that's it's unfortunate. Please go away. Please go away. Oh, I have the sword beam. Nice. The sword beam. Actually, since we have the sword beam, let us stay away from them and kill them, just in case they drop a key or something. Well, um, please stop. Please. I don't think this is a mistake. Oh, my God. That one. I can't see. Oh, you're right. Wait, the generic sword. Just one hit. Don't get hit, please. Don't get hit. Um, come here. I'm looking for you. No! Stop it! Alright, so it takes about three. Three's not bad. Ooh, we got bombs! See? That was worth it. Bombs is worth it. Alright, now... We have a lot more... Oh, no, the keys. Oh, no, don't hit me, keys. Don't you dare hit me, keys. Oh, gosh. Please get away! Okay, good. Juke them. <sighs> okay, now... We have a lot more of these guys. Now, there is a little tricksy tricks where you could hide in the door frame. Problem is, I tend to not do it right, and then I get a hit, and then I cry. And we don't want to see me cry today, right? So I'm just going to do it this way and hope for the best. Um, no one's dying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run away. Run away. Oh, no. Oh, I'm dead. Ha! <laughs> get away from me, Doc Nuts. Get the whip. Really? There we go. That was a nice amount of hits. Oh, no. Please get away. How many? Why does it feel like they're taking more than three hits? Probably because there's so many of them, right? Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got rid of one. We got rid of two. Nice, nice. So we did a lot of damage. So even if we got hit, we technically would be okay. The problem is I'm pretty sure in the next room, there's another entire room of Dark Nuts. So that's fun. Yes. Dark Nuts are wonderful. Excuse you. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. Cut it. Cut it out. I don't remember that show. With uh, the guy from Joey from Family, Family, what was it? Family something? Cut it out. That was a great show. Oh, God. Okay. Um, This would be ideal for the bombs. I actually don't even know if I have to kill them. Let's just let's just run. I think they might have a key, so I'm going to try anyway. But I want to get this first. Ooh, we got the raft. Oh, we are making plays here. We are making so many plays. We got the raft. So the raft allows you to go on water from one dock point to another. Go away. So now this opens up another dungeon. Do I want to try and kill them? I'm not going to have everyone sit through this, but I do want to try killing
Oh my Jesus. So I will fast forward or cut out and then I, we will be back when they're hopefully all dead or I'm dead. One of the two. Because I don't want to waste my bombs. So we'll be back. Oh my God, the jukes! The jukes! I got all. You see those jukes? Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. And now all that is undone. Now all that is undone. Please don't hit me in dark nuts. I just want to win. I need what you are hiding to beat the dragon. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Noise, 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 sugar, and spice. Careful, come on. Okay, we're almost there. There's so many. There's so many dark nuts. This is ridiculous. Okay, careful. I can't believe I still have this sword beam, though. That just goes to show you, has nothing to do with my skill. That just shows show you the input on this controller. Like, it is following my, my information at every step. Bombs. Oh, this was definitely worth it. I got bombs. Bombs are always worth it. Bombs are hard to come by, and you waste a lot of them trying to find secrets. Excuse, excuse me. Two left. And we're done. Without taking damage. Oh, and more bombs. Oh, we can't because we had eight. I guess the max is eight. Yes, there are bomb bags in here. I remember that. There are bomb bags and I think coin bags. Maybe. Oh, another key. Get out of here. Uh, now, these... These little glowy balls... Oh, you've got to be... I... I beat all, every single one of those dark nuts without taking damage. And a little, a little blob gets me. Alright, so these things don't take da they don't give you damage. They just don't allow you to use your sword. Which is not a big deal if you have other weapons. I want to bomb here. Nothing. Can I bomb here? Nothing. Okay, we're wasting bombs. Wasting bombs all the time is fine. Um, there's a door here. I'm a little scared of this door. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared of this door. And these keys, actually. Get out of here! Ooh, more bombs! Nice. Why is the door here? Just to get back here? Okay, that's fine. Um, I actually, before we go to the boss, I want to see... I think there's a secret in this dungeon. Get away from me. And then this will be where we end the video. So, it looks like we're gonna beat the third dungeon before we beat the second dungeon, which is awesome. Why? It's almost like I'm doing it on purpose, isn't it? It's, it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? I'm just that bad. All right, let's uh, let's go up here. Oh, no, I tried that, right? Yeah, I tried that room. That was the room. I was thinking in the top left corner, you can see on the map. I was right there, right there. I was thinking that there might be some kind of secret on the bottom. But it's, it's not, because I tried there. That was the room with the, what, all the keys and nothing else? All right, so let's head to the boss. Hopefully we can, oh gosh, hopefully we can beat the boss. Without taking it, uh, without dying, but we don't have a beam sword. Oh, there's dark nuts here, and we have to beat them, and I don't have my beam sword. Um, if I beat you, there's only three though, so that's not terrible. If I beat you, will you give me hearts for the boss? One, two, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh gosh, one, come on, come on. Oh, I don't want to. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, stop it. You. You dark nut. Okay. Two. Three. What? What? Why didn't he die? Is it four? I don't know. Oh, and they didn't even give me hearts. Is there any secrets? Can I have secrets? Uh, let's check here. There might be a secret in this wall. They're all bombable walls, I swear. This one here? No. There's no. Okay. Okay, then. That didn't work for me, did it? Um, oh, we have lots of stuff here. Okay, that's fine. I can get rid of you, and I can kill everyone else, pretty much. Except for the big ones. I can't kill the big blobs with my bow and arrow, but everything else I can kill with my bow and arrow, so this is fine. Stop hitting me, please. Because eventually I do have to hit him. There we go. Boom! Alright, we got five rupees. Oh, the boss. Oh, here's the boss. <sighs> Alright. Um, I might use bombs here. Oh, I'm definitely using bombs here. I forgot. Okay. So it's not always a dragon, apparently. Yes! And if you get it right in the center, you can blow up all the little claw things around it and beat the boss right away with one bomb. Oh, I couldn't... I can't believe that worked. Okay, awesome. Yes! We made so much progress in this video. I'm so excited. This is already going way better than my original playthrough. I'm having so much fun with this game already. I can't wait to play through this game. Uh, play through the second game, which is probably notably the hardest Zelda game ever made. Continue with this series. 
If you do like this series, let me know in the comments below. It'll help me decide if I'm going to continue on after this game or not. And let me know if there's any cool Zelda ROM hacks you'd like to see me play, because I'm all for getting new ROM hacks to try out. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you didn't, leave a comment in the comment section below anyway. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see on the channel. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay pixel perfect.